Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Link's Awakening! Before continuing from where I left off last time, I thought I'd show a little more dialogue that you can get from Marin, as long as she's tagging along under some specific circumstances, such as entering and leaving a dungeon. Just like with Bow Wow, if you have anyone following you along, you can't take them with you in the dungeon, and when you leave, you can pick them up where you left off. But actually, well, no, I, I just took one look in there and ran. But actually, if you are seriously hurt, you'll get even more dialogue from her. So let's make that happen with our trusty bomb. That'll do. Ow. And then Marin will comment on the incessant beeping. No, no, just kidding, viewers. But, uh... Yeah, just a little more dialogue you can get with her. Let's see, there's one more thing I want to show you with Marin, and then we'll get back to where we left off last time. There's probably even more dialogue you can get from Marin under very specific circumstances that I don't know about. But I thought I'd show you at least what I know and what some of you pointed out to me. Let's see, if you go into a house that has a chest of drawers... We get a panty raid! No. No, just, uh... Well, I'm the protagonist. What do you expect? I've got to find the hero tech somewhere. But all right. Let's get back to... Yeah, the animal village and head into the Yarna Desert. There's a secret seashell back there. But I want to wait a little bit to pick that one up. And let's see, I want to equip bombs and arrows to create bomb arrows. You press the two buttons at the same time, you'll shoot an arrow with a bomb attached to it. Which could be pretty useful here for mini-boss time against the Land Mola. So what I want to do here is shoot my bomb arrows at the head of the Land Mola. And I want to stay right here because I don't have to worry about the quicksand moving me around from here. And boom, we got him. Hooray! Three cycle kill. And we get the angler key for defeating the land mola there. That sounded like Mario. But in any case, yeah, you blow up the top wall, we get heart piece number 17. Let's see, how are we looking there? Very nice. Okay, let's get out of this cave then. Yeah, if you uh, get caught in the cave, or the quicksand there, you'll have to go back up and, if, and start from the beginning with Lenmola. Well, let's see if you can tell me where the seashell is around here. Oh, well that, yeah, that doesn't really help, but in any case, you go right over here, and we can get a secret seashell, number 25. And let's see, yeah, just deal with the levers and pokey. And then if we go all the way to the southeast corner of the island... We find another secret seashell, number 26. Okay, let's get out of here then. I think that's everything we can do actually in the desert. Watch out for the cacti, they will damage you. Whoa! That works. Okay, let's see. So if you got the magic powder, sprinkle it over here. And, well, someone's talking to us. Oh, well, I already did that, so. But yeah, nice thing about, another nice thing about using bomb arrows is that they explode instantly on contact instead of having to wait for a fuse to run out. Huh, we don't, where's Mr. Owl? Oh, there we go. Yeah, they moved the dialogue here a little bit. I guess because they wanted to create a little shortcut on the platform to the right. So you could jump off and get out of the place without circumventing the Mr. Owl. 
but uh, okay, so we're looking for a waterfall in the mountains. Now that we got the key to get us where we want to go, well, look around for that. Now, with the seashell around here, this one can be a little tricky to get, even though, I mean, I can, all you got to do is use the ocarina, play the Ballad of the Windfish, and Mr. Walrus will show up here, just like the Game Boy versions. But in this version of the game, ha ha. Yeah, in this version, we get another secret seashell. Now, if I recall correctly, if you try to do this immediately after the walrus dove into the water or got out of the way, he won't show up right away unless you enter like a cave or something, some other area, and then get back here. Or you could just save and quit, and that'll do the same thing too. Oh, I'm sure I won't. Aww. Oh yeah, the animals. Yeah, they're all like that, apparently, for some reason. But, uh, okay, we're done with our business there. Let's head on up to the mountains. I think the closest warp point we got is at Dampe Shack. And now that we've got the power bracelet, I could have come up here before, or quite a while ago, actually, but the plot really doesn't direct us to go over here until now. And there's not really much extraordinary around there otherwise. So I figured, eh, I might as well just wait until the plot tells us to go around here. But, uh, okay, well, there's the mountain. And then, let's see, up here is where the windfish egg would be. But we can't do anything with that just yet. Oh, um, uh, right, right, yeah. The chamber stones we were getting there before. All right. Ha ha. And we get a piece of power. That probably doesn't do a whole lot. Since I already have the red tunic. I don't think the damage multiplier stacks with that. I could be totally wrong. I have no idea how damage is really calculated in this game. Whoa. I do know that I can barely avoid a guardian acorn. Whew. That could have been bad. Okay, so over here, we got a waterfall, we got a keyhole, let's put it in there. There's also, I think, a glitch that you can use to get into the dungeon without getting the key. Something with getting hit by an enemy or something and then respawning on top of the ledge there. And then hopping down, the waterfall doesn't block you from getting in there, I think. But in any case, yeah, let's just get that guy out of the way, trying to drop bombs on me. And we got another warp point. So, yeah, I mean, I could have unlocked this earlier, but I'm going to have to come over here by myself sooner or later anyway. Okay, let's get a bomb ready to go. Toss it in there like so. And we get a secret seashell. Let's see, number 28. See, there's some stairs over here, but yeah, they just lead nowhere for now. Let's see. Well, this is as far as we can go. We can't go in the water or across from here. So let's... Oh, yeah, I want to go back for the rupees. Worth it for taking a bomb to the face. Okay, then let's get back up to the mountains there. I was about to say those guys hop out of the way like those flying Octoroks, but no, I guess not. Would be nice, though, if I could get up to full health, but I'll take what I can get. Uh-oh. Ha-ha. Gotcha. Okay, so this is the only way we can really get onto the mountains. See, there's nothing... Oh, I missed the heart. Oh, well. But yeah, there's nothing... Like, on the platform there. 
like taking the stairs further up. But I would like to get these keys out of the way. Very nice. Okay, so those torches can shoot fireballs at you. Whoop. Didn't block it in time. Okay, now this part can be a little tricky. Okay, there we go. Push that one up. Up. Then down and left. And alright. Yeah, there we go. That's how it's done, Link. Whoa! Don't fall! Okay. Phew! And here we get heart piece number 18. Let's see. Okay, so... Yeah. Yeah, we're doing good on... Heart pieces and... Secret seashells. And you, Whoa. I was gonna say, you're not gonna get past me, but... No, apparently they can. Well, there is one nice thing about the knockback on enemies. If they drop a guardian acorn, I will not accidentally pick it up. But I do want to pick up 50 rupees here. Not that I really need money anymore. At least until the end of the game. But, uh, okay, I don't think I can get that chest from here with just the Pegasus boots. I think I need another item to help me out with that. Let's listen to some epic music. Yeah, I love the song and the Tal Tal Heights up here. But, uh, okay, so let's get in here. And looks like Papa is up there. Whoa! No! Ah, the guardian acorn. I guess that knockback didn't help me as much as I thought it would have. Oh well. Uh oh, it's a trip. Well, it. Oh, ow! There you go. And well, there you are. What are you doing up here? Evidently. Are you talking about yourself in the third person? Oh, well, I got this pineapple. Good for you. Enjoy. <laughs> I like the animation and the sound effect he makes eating like that. Hey! Hibiscus! Wasn't there someone who was looking for a flower earlier? Well, I'm not going to give it to them right now. Good for you. I mean, I'm all the way up here. I might as well get moving on to the next dungeon. Yeah, there's a secret seashell there, but I don't think I can get it yet. So let's see. Yeah, this is where the waterfall was. And yeah, further to the right. Yeah, you uh, can't go in the deep water. So, if only there were an item that could let me swim in deep water, where can we find it? Find out next time on Let's Play Link's Awakening! This is Ichi Bailey, signing off. Have a good day! <laughs>